on Grim. We got Ulgrim's. Ulgrim coming out. All right. Ulgrim's, but it's going to be a Tezka instead of a Wushong on the side of the red team. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, you know what? We're not starting on uh, Apocalypse, oh. so I'm already loving this set. <laughs> No, this is just Apocalypse with a with, with a cone on the bottom. <laughs> but you know what? I'll I'll allow it because it's not Apocalypse. <laughs> it's, <too. laughs> it's redder. It's, yeah, actually, I really I really do love the art in the background yeah. here. So <laughs> it is a pretty map. It is a very very uh -oh. pretty map. Jakey, left side. Moonier gets past. Will survive. Mhm. Mm All right. Now Moonier. Okay. Trying to get back into the mix of things here, but I mean the good news is that Coco has just been swinging and then hitting whoever is near him. Target swapping coming out from Saphir. Lunir drops down in there, tries to interrupt some stuff. Side air. This time Saphir, but Saphir gets a wall touch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Good dodge there, man. Yeah, a little bit of dancing around here. Nobody's really taking a, a, like a strong start until right there, actually. But everyone's, you know, getting some good damage in. Uh, everybody's at risk of losing the stock here, except for Saphir, who already lost theirs. Yeah. I mean, like you said, uh, not to be like, oh, this 2v2 currently is lame, but it's definitely slower than what I think Coco and Munir like to run at. They definitely like to go out swinging. Mm -hmm. Here comes that combo, though. Oh, oh, but Coco! Just a little bit off. But you know what? I think that's honestly, it's the right play from Jakey and Saphir to be doing this. Uh, if you can slow it down, you, you got you to gotta pull a little bit of the San Antonio Spurs. You know, it's going to be clean, really good, precise gameplay. It's just going to be a little slower than everybody else. But you know what? They're going to get the job done. There we go. Coco actually still hanging on to the stock here, doing a really good job. Saphir might be losing theirs very soon if they're not careful. Yeah, there's the neutral eye. Going to finish off Coco there. Saphir, like you said, very damaged. But even though there was a power play, red team really not forcing a power play the way the blue team will. Mm -hmm. All right, the blue team, oh. if, if, if they smell blood in the water, they're going for it, man. Combo. They are going on a frenzy. Ooh. Oh, that's going to KO, too. The side sig from Coco, and now this is a huge lead for the blue team. You know what? It might be one of those scenarios where if I'm the red Dude. team, we got to start dialing it up to 12 yeah. because, you know what? It seems like the best uh, offense or best oh defense is a good offense. <laughs> good save. Jakey has just been getting swung on out there. Munir's going to fall. But like you said, red team's got to find a way to overclock everything because they are behind. Yeah, I and mean, I like how the only, <laughs> what I feel like the only real reason that I think Munir kind of lost that stock is because they were going crazy yeah. off the stage. <laughs> like, they were like, listen, if I'm going down, I'm going to try and bring you with me. It's right. Yes. Yeah. The announcer said it best. I know there was an exclamation point on the screen, but really that felt like a period, like just a solid punctuated, like... That was a GG. <laughs> it was done. We're good. <laughs> they should actually have that one too. Just GG. 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 GG dot dot dot. GG ellipses. <laughs> GGs and it's like the grimace emoji. GG's. We both played bad. <laughs> <laughs> the classic. There you go. Game All right. number two, Jakey and Saphir. Got to make some adjustments because blue team's just going to get better at hitting those combos. That's mm -hmm. just like what they do. Dude, whoa. Okay, I don't know what conversation you had in the in, in the halftime or whatever, but uh, <laughs> you went right into the blue team spin cycle. Like, what are you doing? Dude, they're really good at getting those coaches' speeches YouTube videos out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Remember your family. Remember your religion. Remember the New York Jets. Is that Obama? <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. Falling Cider coming out from Moonier. Jakey comes in. Goes for the swap there. Got the downline on the Coco. No one over for Moonier. Moonier's going to hit the recovery. First KO goes the way of the blue team. Mm-hmm. All right, and you know what? I'm actually not surprised with the way that the blue team's been playing that they're going to get that first stock. I mean, they could have, like, lost their first stock, and I'd be just like, all right, they're just going to get the next two. But there we go. We're going to even things up here just a little bit. Well, I was about to say, with the Algrams lasting a little bit longer, and now there's one Algram left on three stocks, and that's Saphir. Saphir got an ax in hand, trying to do their best to help out their teammate, but also not commit too hard to anything because of a situation like that. Yeah. This is going to be a tough thing for the red team is like the desync of stocks. The fear is surviving, but every time it gets launched, this blue team going for 2v1s on the Jakey. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. I think a little bit of miscommunication there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, good oh. recovery. Very good recovery. Uh oh. Oh, no. Don't let it be your own teammate. Oh, wait. Ooh, no. It oh, was okay. himself. All right, never mind. <laughs> He grabbed his teammate, but he was the one who got hit ultimately. And now Jakey down to his final stock here in game number two. 
Ooh, I like that. Even though you got hit, you still set up your teammate for a huge combo of that Rocket Lance, and he carried him all the way off to the Blast Zone on the side. Oh, wait. Oh, he almost got a two oh, for one. Yeah. Just the ceiling a little bit too high here for Jiggy to get that finisher. Ooh. Okay, goes in. Nice recovery. That'll be one. Can they take down Coco? Wow, they're giving a lot of respect to Coco. Honestly, I do not blame him. Coco's been an absolute monster this entire time. Yeah. Like, if he gets a hit, like, he's going to get something else out of it, too, right? And the fact that uh, Munir was just kind of right behind him in terms of, like, respawning, it didn't take long, and it would have been an even worse combo. But Munir in a lot of trouble. That Nair, but they didn't have a set follow-up off of it, and Munir got to dodge away from the end. Sig Jakey staying low, gets past, but Saphir's the one who swept beating, gets back up. That was a mess. That was that was a scramble off the side there. Oh, oh. oh what a Good save, stare. though! Oh, you had your own life, but man, you kept your teammate alive with one last do it for me. <laughs> now Jakey has to clutch. He has to clutch. Clutch oh. or kick. Oh. That was that was Ooh. actually a pretty sick attempt, though. Yeah. I do like that. <laughs> you tried to get up there with that gravity cancel and Sig. That's currently a 2-0 in favor of Coco and Moonier. They are running away with this one. Yep. Hey, you know, I mean, I. I it's just kind of like what I felt like was going to happen. I mean, it's, it's again, it's something against Jakey and Saphir. It's just <laughs> from what we've seen so far from the blue team. Like, yeah. <laughs> they came to play. They definitely came to play. And that was what we're doing. We are playing. We were playing a game oh, called Brawl. They, they are. I'm playing. Oh, okay. I'm playing the caster game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you'd have, like pull out your phone and be like, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing for brand new announcement. <laughs> hey, when is Brawlhalla mobile? It already exists. On my phone? Yes. I did not know that. Yeah. It's on Android and iOS. Awkward. Yeah. That, that's I just always I, I just always thought it was just I've always just played it on PC. That's fair. Yeah. PC is the way to go. To be fair, I'm not really a mobile gamer. I actually that's just started because uh, TFT, three, but that's two, a different story. Okay. Yeah, one, that's fair. A uh, good game to play on your mobile device. But mm -hmm. we're getting into game number three, Coco and Moon here. No swaps, obviously. But Jakey over to the uh, Onyx for game number three. Mm -hmm. All right. Demon Island here, definitely the, uh, I think, right play. I think that platform is definitely giving blue team a little too much. And I feel like this is exactly how the last set went. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is, feels really familiar. It feels really familiar uh, with, with between Coco and Munir, so. Ooh, the Ensig out in the left side. Munir going to get that KO onto Saphir. Nice. Mm -hmm. Coco's in uh. position. Ground pound. Oh, the yep. Nair clash out, but another ground pound. Munir. And he chase dodges Ooh. past the ground pound. And I would say, Saphir going out there to try and save, but almost got caught up in the mix in the process. But there we go, does get Munir out of here. And now Coco, ooh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> the misinput there. He went for the, the chase dodge Nair and just slightly off the mark. Mm -hmm. Still living. And not losing that Rocket Lance in the process either. So I mean, hey, that's definitely pretty good there. Ah, uh, there you go, bye-bye. Okay, stock count even. Things not terrible for the red team. Goes for the N Sig there, but does not connect. Mm -hmm. Jakey's out there. Does he have the jumps? Oh, teammate with the help. Saphir actually giving him an extra jump there with that sideline. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's huge. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, that's gonna close it. It is it is phenomenal watching these two. One of them just kind of gets like a, a hit just to get, to get something started. And the other teammate is like so far ahead of the game plan. It was like, look, I know exactly where I need to be. I'm gonna throw out this SIG and we're gonna close this stock out. We're gonna get this done. It's like um, you know, like the 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 meme of like the couple finishes each other's sentences, but it's like they start one word of the sentence and the rest of the sentence is already there. They're already done, they know exactly what's being said. And being told as that is gonna be it for the blue team to close it out 3 0. And he did it. He did, he did it. it. He, he, did ate it. The, he ate the pizza. He didn't whiff. He's a good player. He's a good player, everybody. <laughs> he did exactly what we talked about. He just taunted and said, hey, I know this is going out, man. This is gonna KO. I'm good. Oh they were listening. They were listening. Yeah. We got you. Yeah. We got you. I love you guys. Sorry for coaching. Uh, if you nah. other teams want coaching. Nah,